to the Neil Haley show. And oh my gosh. Okay. When I hear this topic, uh, my guest, I, I'm just excited because this is just perfect for me. Uh, Philip Chiafri, is that correct? Is that how yes, you that's close enough? That's yeah, close enough. And wrote a book, how to write a book. And how do we get this started? Because again, this is something that I think everyone makes the mistake of. Uh, Philip is writing a book, right? It's just not, yeah. it doesn't work. Yeah. Um, well, th the book that, uh, that, um, has just come out this week is called, is a novel called night and its longings. It's the, um, in my seventh, of, in my seventh of, uh, book of fiction. Um, now I have been a writing teacher and still am a writing teacher. Um, uh, I, I've been teaching for many, many years at the university level and also uh, now I teach uh, for Gotham Writers, which is a private uh, writing company in New York City, uh, which does, you know, uh, online classes and I teach in person in the city. So I have a, a lot of experience about, you know, writing and teaching people how to write a book. And, um, every, you know, when I travel across country and give, you know, lectures or workshops, um, uh, invariably people come up to me and say, you know, I've always wanted to write a book. You know, how do I get started? And um so, you know, so, yeah, so it's a topic that's dear to my heart um, because I'm very interested in helping other uh, writers or would-be writers um, get their life story down or, you know, right. get, get There's their so many people. There's a number that came out, Philip, and this is people listening here. There are 90% of people that want to write a book, but only 10% have written it, which is crazy, yeah. which is the largest market space as an entrepreneur I've ever seen in my life. That's why I started a publishing company largest market pace I've ever heard in my life. And we're self-publishing. We've done a couple. We're going to go to, they've written it and we were republishing it and we're not charging them, but that's what we do as a, we're vanity paid for play publishing company. We do the cover, all the different things. But what I, when I heard that only 10% of people have written their story. Is that crazy? Written a book or a story. It's nuts. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I believe I believe that everyone has um, a book in them. Everybody has uh, uh, at least one uh, one novel inside them. Um, and um, I, usually people ha just have trouble getting started, which which is often one of the hardest parts of the process. So my advice for that for those people is to um, to start anywhere. Um, you don't need a fully formed idea. In fact, if you wait for that fully formed idea, you may, you know, you know, go through your entire life without it coming. So my my uh, advice always is to begin anywhere you can um, with a with a sentence, with an image, with an impulse. Um, um, one sentence leads to a second, um, and uh, then to a paragraph, and you know, then you're on, you you've done a page. Um, what I I. It, particularly if people are, are writing out of their life experiences, uh, one thing I always suggest is um, is just um, uh, identifying a couple of key moments in your life, you know, key activities or events um, uh, that you felt really, uh, you know, either changed you or had a, a, a profound effect on you, and then and just simply start writing that event or that that night that day that weekend whatever it happened to be and then once you have that you go back and you can start uh show us you start writing about what led up to that uh, that event that moment and then once you've done that you can go uh to the consequences of that event that moment how did it change you how were things different afterwards yeah and if you get that far you've already got a beginning a middle and an end That's uh, which huge. is the basic structure I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll, and, and what do you think the difference between writing your own biography, autobiography versus or a story versus writing fiction where the challenges come with being really creative? Yeah, I mean, for me, I, I have to find some personal connection to my characters, to my story. Otherwise, I can't write it. That does not mean that I'm writing autobiography. It's not, you know, that these things literally happen to me. But I have to have find some connection um, in the in this my new book, A Night and Its Longings. The connection was. I started I didn't even have an idea. I, I simply started with I had these visual images of night in the city. Um, I'm from New York. Uh, uh, I grew up in the Bronx. 
Um, so I had these images of, you know, night in Central Park or night uh, along the Hudson, night on a deserted street. I, I just had a series of images. And then I started thinking about, you know, about the night as an entity in itself. It is that time when you when the day is gone, when your your external life is stripped away. It's really just you alone with who you are and how we start to think about our lives in a different way that way. I mean, do we ha are we satisfied? Are we happy? Do we have what, what we want? What more do we want? How might we get it? Uh, that's how I started. I didn't even have a character. Then from there, um, I came up with the character of a crime writer in Greenwich Village who's pining over this lost love um, that he had. And, um, and, uh, and then that night, um, I mean, he writes during, he writes at night because he can't sleep. He, you know, he, he's got, um, he, he's just too obsessed with, with what's wrong with his life. Uh, so he writes all night. And then one particular night that, you know, the, the opening of the book is the husband of this woman he had an affair with 10 years before comes to him, asks for, asks for his help in, in finding her because she's disappeared. So then I said, okay, now I have a situation, you know, um, I, I've got, a writer who has an opportunity to go back and revisit something in his life um, yeah. that he very much wants to get back. So, so I had the external level that is he's investigating uh, why she disappeared. And at the same time, the inner level, um, which is coming to know himself better, um, understanding himself in a clearer light and also seeing this woman he loved in a clearer light because she's changed since he first knew her. Um, so I, I like the idea of, of having the internal struggle, uh, the internal journey, and the external one, uh, yeah. both going at the same time. That's, uh, yeah, that's pretty interesting, right? The, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I get so I get to do what I I like most in my writing is that is to um, to have it be a love story and a mystery at the same time. So and that's why I like. To so, so you look at like a lot of your life and your experiences you put into your books. I find some way I had to find at least some, yeah, some connection, some way to connect to a character or a situation that has, you know, some kind of meaning to me. What's and harder. Again, so, so you think that's a hard thing versus I'm going to write a book on how to, you know, make a million dollars or how to, and how to book or, you know, my, my way of marketing or my way of building a website or my way of networking or you know these different types of books or how to be better in business or you know there's so much out there which is harder to write that well, what you do i think what you do is harder yeah i think i i, I agree I, I i think you're right because when the the how-to books they're, they're based on fact and statistics and um you know proven kind of proven techniques so if you were writing a book about, you know, publishing, you, you know, you would be basing it on, you know, things that you learned and that you can verify. So the kind of, you know, writing that I do and that novelists and playwrights and, and screenwriters do is, um, is trying to get at the, that, that, the inner life of the character. And that, and that's harder because, because we're, we're kind of trained basically early on to keep our feelings to ourselves and not really you know, not to be expressive. I mean, certainly in our jobs, they don't want, you know, they don't care about your personal life. No, you're there to do a function. Um, so we, but we all have this need, I think, to to communicate on a level that this is the way I feel, or, you know, I feel bad, or I feel good. I feel the need for this. And so that's the inner life that um, that I try to create, uh, you know, in, in my books, as long as, long as as well as having a kind of external <laughs> level of, uh, in this case, the investigation of a of a missing woman, but but it's 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 the character's internal um, uh, struggle to find out who he is and and, and to, to get what he needs um, on an emotional level. So, did anyone ever? So, did anyone write a fiction book? Is anyone have the opportunity to do it? Like, especially with uh, my publishing company, it gives them the opportunity where we have editors. I think everyone's creative in some sort of way. Should they go and take a writing class, learn from someone like you? How to write? Absolutely. I think absolutely. they should. Because it's a very good uh, creative way. If you have something that is your own, I think many people in this world are missing something that's their own. Once you write a book, there's something for you to look forward to every day. Absolutely. Writing the next book. Go ahead. 
Absolutely. Uh, absolutely. And if you don't write it, it's gone. It's lost. It's like, you know, your life, you know, is this blimp, this, this bleep and, you know, this minute in time. Uh, and if you don't write it down, um, it's gone. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if I'll ever get to doing the want to do that, but I just really, my authors that have written books so far with Hollow Man Publishing, I just have been so impressed by them. The time they put into it, the creativity. When I interview these authors and say, how do you come up with this in your head? How are you able to create these things? You know, Brian Cuban, Mark Cuban's uh, brother, uh, what he's able to do with his books and take a lot of his experiences and put them into his books. It's just genius. And so many people do this on a regular basis. And yeah, I've, you know, I did this, but this is what I put together. The time you sit down and write from children's books with a, a you know, I talk to these people and I'm just blown away by who they are and what they do for sure. Yeah. 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 I mean, it's, um, um, it, it's a, it's a struggle, but it's a rewarding struggle. It's a, a struggle that, you know, presents a lot of uh, satisfaction uh, uh, when you do it. Um, and I, yes, to, to come back to your point before, um, yeah, if you're having trouble getting started, take a, a, a writing workshop, um, whether it's online or in person. Um, um, and having that, you know, um, every week you need to turn something in and you've got an audience to listen to you. Often that's enough motivation to get people actually writing on the page. Uh, and uh, so I, I definitely encourage that. And, and, you know, and, um, I, I see my students, you know, come in never having written a word. And then now they're now they're they've learned how to write a narrative and they're somewhere along the process. Fantastic. So people can pick up your book at Amazon and all that stuff. Do you have a yes, book uh, called How to Write a Book as well? Do you have a book also called? Uh, no, um, uh, I have a lot of articles that I've, I've written about how to, how to write, which, you know, some of which are available online. People could, um, you know, certainly uh, just Google my name, Philip 1L. Uh, last name's C I O F S and Frank F S and Frank A R I and dot com is my is my website and you can they can certainly contact me if they have questions um, about writing um, contact me through my website uh, and my book Night and its Longings which just came out this week is available at Amazon and everywhere books are sold um, so I would be happy to again to to talk to any of your uh, listeners who. Uh, who might want have questions about writing and, you know, and oh, there's just, tons of people appreciate it. Yeah. Bill, yeah. Thanks again. Right. Thank you very much, Neil. All Good right. Luck you're, listening, you're listening and watching the Neil Haley show. We'll be back in just a moment.